We've got the outfit laid out, all the outfit options. Girl dinner. We're in a hotel. We've got the makeup all set up, so you know what this means. We have a hotel. Get ready with me. Here we go. That was such a like. Cheers. Not want to knock that while I'm getting ready. We are back up. In the M1, oh, did my light just change? I'm not sure, but we are back in Manchester tonight. I am doing a little hotel get ready with me. It's been a minute since I've done one and I feel like you guys love them. I love them. We are here for the opening of this new restaurant called Phoenix, which I am so excited about. I've seen it all over TikTok. It's like a new... Mykonos like vibey restaurant feel like it's quite high-end my management are like hosting their launch party this evening which is kind of why I'm up and I just like didn't want to miss it and like try out the food assess the vibes like I am so excited and I'm actually staying at the stock exchange hotel which I've never stayed in before but it is absolutely stunning and the man on the front desk was so sweet he was like telling me about the history of the hotel and shout out Emmy, who's on the front desk as well who said that she watches my videos but she was very professional so hi Emmy, if you're watching but yeah i feel like with my glam today i'm not 100 sure what i'm doing i've got the chase on in front of me also you guys i thought it was so funny the amount of you that messaged me to be like rachel Tipping point isn't on anymore. Like, how do you feel? Guys, I love deal or no deal. Like, I used to love it back in the day and I forgot how much I love it. Like, it's so good. I'm always on the edge of my seat and I actually don't mind that it's been replaced. If they replaced the chase, I'd be so upset. But yeah, because the theme of the restaurant is like Mykonos and like Greek and like I've seen the interior and it's very like cream and white. We're going to wear white. Um, You probably saw at the beginning of the video just like the dress vibes that we're going for. And also in my last video, I used oil on my skin and I like wasn't sure about it. I'm converted. I really love it, but literally the tiniest amount because i don't want to be like a complete oily mess but i do find it just super hydrating underneath my makeup but i'm still kind of undecided i've got like gold oh i'm like top because i haven't like 100 100 percent picked out my like accessories some some could be silver and some could be gold So I'm suddenly like, I don't know what to do for my eye makeup. I might just do a gold, like, spark cut crease, like, vibes, because why not? So that is going to involve a little bit of tape. I'm back into using tape. I'm, like, really taking it old school. Back to using tape. I just find it's so much easier. And it's just going to be super clean every time why not and i'm also really excited because ooh, is that even i feel like it is i'm gonna go ahead and do one eye because i'm not 100 sure but what i was trying to say was i got the new hourglass concealer and i've been dying to try it i've been seeing everyone rave about it so again very excited to use this but yeah let me do one eye and come back real quick and have a little slurp is it anything revolutionary absolutely not i'm trying to like get this to is that too low? Oh, is that too high? If it could just... Because I feel like I'm going to lean. Anyways, guys, why do I even pretend that I'm going to do anything different? I don't even know. And I kind of want it to give, like, holiday makeup because, like I said, it's like a Mykonos vibes restaurant. Anyway, I'm going in with, like, the softest brown eyeshadow, which... I feel like it was limited edition and I'm 
I don't know how to locate it because look how much I've hit pan on it. Mac, if you're watching, please can I have a back to Serality eyeshadow? Like I need it. It is the most amazing crease color ever. Um, but literally just any soft brown. I want this to be like super soft. You can see like we've just done again nothing revolutionary at all rachel but very pretty i feel like this with a red lip would look really cute and this is very similar to a makeup look that i did on tiktok like the other day but yeah just keeping it soft they're not doing like super well on this chase you know what would you guys actually do if you turned the tv on one day and i was on the chase I feel like I can dream and wish. Maybe I'll put it forward to my management and be like, get me on it. But just at the normal chase. Then I want it to be on any like special edition. But now I'm just taking the Made by Mitchell blush book and I'm taking the shade Cheeky. And I'm actually kind of mainly focusing this along the lash line, but then kind of like just lightly buffing it into the crease to like deepen it up slightly. I do just want this to be very like effortless. And now we're just gonna carve out the crease. I'm gonna use, this is another new concealer I got, the Kylie one, I got it in 3N. I'm just using this to create a little cut crease moment. And this is gonna like, number one, give just like a clear canvas, but two, a little bit of a base for when I go in with my sparkles. literally like it just like that and then i kind of take my finger you know just to like diffuse that situation no i don't i'm gonna take a brush and just diffuse that situation like so and the spark i'm gonna use is from the mac christmas collection it's called like gold crush it is so pretty it's like you guys need this in your holiday makeup vibes for like a soft gold smoky eye or if you do like brides and stuff this is so pretty and we're just pressing that on where we put the concealer i kind of need this like all over my face tonight i can't lie i don't even really think it's picking up just how pretty this is like on camera but trust me it is gorgeous and then using golden gal from the made by mitchell bronzer book i'm just starting at the base and this is why the tape is amazing this isn't like the official eyeliner but it's just gonna like start off the smokiness like it's good it's so soft so soft oh my god my eyes are watering that's not good please don't piss me off yeah, I, I want it to be super soft, but then we are going to take an angled brush and the deeper shade, which is called Deep Indulgence, and kind of just like press that into the tape. So it's like at the darkest, at the very base. Literally just like that. I feel like sometimes the tape makes my eyes water. Which is a stress, but just means I'll peel it off ASAP, but we're literally done. Like that's the eyes. You see how quickly I can do that? Bush. Anyway, where's my inner corner highlighting brush? And this again, love this eyeshadow. It's called Trump Lol from MAC. Again, a single shadow. I've actually placed an order from MAC because there were just some oldie but goodie like products that I really needed. Like, um, is it the pearl pigment or like naked pigment? Needed it. The Kitchmas pigment, I needed it. Um, the mineralized skin finishes in like a medium tan and medium deep, needed it. And creme de nude lipstick, I needed it. Um, so I'm very excited for that to arrive. It arrives tomorrow, which is Friday. But by the time you're watching this, this is Sunday. So hopefully it's arrived and I'll be doing something with those products very soon. But anyway, this is the eyes done. Let's take the tape off because it's upsetting my eyes, I can feel it. Why does that make my eyes water? I don't even know. Let's give a little tidy tidy. Where it needs to be tidy. Oh, it's gorgeous, my honey. It 
it's gorgeous. I wish the light was a bit more like, whoa, whoa. Is that better? Am I? Is that better? I can't tell what's good and what's not. Anyways, these are the eyes done. I'm now gonna curl my lashes and put my, that was close. Put my lashes on, 10 pounds to guess, 10 pounds to the person who guesses correctly what lashes I'm wearing. Yes, it is the Ekansu Be Perfect ones because I was in a rush leaving the house and they are just my go-to and they always look good. So let's put those on. Lisa, Spanish Civil War. First World War. The TV series The Lion Guard is based on what Disney film? Lion King. The Lion King. Correct. Live Lion Golf. Correct. What type of... Okay. 14. 14. Anyways, eyes are done. These lashes are just my fave, honestly. And it's a little top-up sign. And now we can move on to the skin, which is always my favourite part. And I am just so excited to use that concealer. I used it to prime my eyes. And it felt really nice. I'm just going in with the Milk Primer. You guys, going back to my like last video that I did, um, loads of you loved it that I put like the products at the bottom of the screen. So I'm gonna keep doing that because I feel like it then, if I forget to say anything, it, it's just there. So when I'm editing, I'll remember to put it in. And also going back to my last video, thanks so much you guys for like all of the advice regarding like how to know you've had like a good day and things like that. Like I felt like that was really helpful. And I felt like we were on a girls night because that was literally like the kind of things me and my friend were talking about. It was just like a, a random thought of just like, how do you know? But I think if you're even asking, the, the general consensus was like, if you have to ask, then I feel like you just, you didn't know. But then how many chances should you give someone? That's another question. How many chances, like how many dates should you go on before you're like, yeah, no, it's not the vibe, like three. Cause I feel like there's this big stigma sort of around like third dates and that being quite like a <gasps> date, but then who's to say, you know? Anyway, I'm just mixing a few products to be fair, a couple of shades of the MAC Dewy Strobe Dewy Skin Tint and the MAC Face and Body. I've been really just loving this combo. I used this in my last video too, but genuinely, I'm obsessed. It's like sheer, but it's buildable. Cause I feel like that hourglass concealer is really full coverage. So I don't want to be super full coverage when it comes to my foundation as well. I just feel like it doesn't suit me. And it always kind of, yeah, ends up looking a bit cakier in pictures. So I've been loving this. Face and body's always just like such an OG, if you want that like amazing, like tinted moisturizer vibe, it's always just such a good one. And yeah, like I said, been loving this dewy strobe skin tint. I forgot I even had it. And the shade that I had on its own was like a little bit too dark. So I got like a couple of shades up and it's perfect. So I'm just mixing that on the back of my hand. I'm scared though that my like competitiveness would come out if I was ever on a quiz show. And like, imagine you go for like the big, the big one, you risk it all, you win it back for the team. And then someone on your team, let's say the last person takes the minus offer and they get through and they take it away. And then you win the money. Like I would be like, I don't want to share that with you. You t like, you took that away from the team. And also if I kept getting things wrong, I would just be there going like, oh fuck's sake. <laughs> I wonder if people actually do that. I know they sometimes do these like blooper shows, but I feel like they would never show anyone swearing. I'd be like, fuck's sake, Brad. I got it wrong. Like how? Like, I really love that. 
I need to make sure I'm wiping my hand so I don't get it on the robe. The amount of like hotel robes I just accidentally stain. Um, I'm just going to go in with my sponge just to make sure that that's all just set and in place. Stunning. Right, now I'm going to go in with cream bronzer. I'm using the Huda foundation stick. I feel like the reason I bought the Hourglass concealer was because there's this girl on TikTok called Amaya Cole, Cohen, something like that. She is stunning. First of all, like she is gorgeous. It's giving like Kardashian vibes. I need to know who did her BBL because it's the best BBL I've ever seen. Like she just looks unreal. And if I look like that, I would not know what to do with myself, genuinely. And she just seems like she's the nicest person. But anyway, yeah, her makeup looks insane. And she kind of did this like no foundation skin routine where she uses the Hourglass concealer and she actually uses the Hourglass foundation stick. Whoa, I look funny. Um, but this is very similar. And this one's in the shade like chocolate mousse, I think. I feel like I took that quite far in, but it's okay. You can always blend it out. And she made me feel seen because she was like, I love having a super bronzed forehead. And I was like, <gasps> yes, someone else that loves just being super bronzed on their forehead. I think I took that a little too far, but it's okay. We move, we move. And also, sorry if it sounds like I'm like, walking really quietly it's because like hotel walls like aren't super thick you know so I don't know if I've got any neighbors that are going to be like what the fuck is that girl talking about next door and like who is she talking to I'm talking to myself anyways bronzing done you know what's next let me just take the excess down I'm also a bit concerned because my dress is quite see-through and I'm also on my period but my period's been going on for like a week and this like never happens to me. Like it really do be dragging on. But anyway, I'm just going with a little bit of my milk baked bronzer in it's stoked. It's more of a cool tone contour shade just to kind of add a bit more like definition and like shadow vibes. My hair's always just Get in my, in my face. Where are you coming from? I've clipped you back. I feel like that's fine. Anyway, concealer time. I got the shade Beach because I kind of wanted it to be not super bright. And like relatively close to just like a foundation color. Like, ooh. Okay, off the bat, the way it applies. So nice, like that went on like butter. I'm just gonna use a little concealer brush to just take it right up to my eyeliner because, oh, get these fucking hairs off my face. Um, oh my God. Just so, I can be super precise with that placement and then we can just blend it down. Oh my God, get this and these. Whew. Right, this is how we be looking. Let's blend it out. Shall we do a sponge or a brush? I did get the new Kylie brush and I do really like it, I have to say. Maybe I'll just blend it under my eye with the brush. Oh, this is pretty. I really like this color.
Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Let's just blend this all in. I love that. I feel like I'm gonna add a teeny weeny bit of the Kylie one, literally, just like that. For like a little added brightness, but honestly, that concealer blended out like an absolute dream. I'm just gonna take the Kylie brush to do that. And this brush is really good as well, you guys. Oh my God, obsessed. I'm obsessed with that. And I feel like with this cream blusher, again, I think I used this on TikTok. This is so slept on. It's Refai um, Rose. Oh my God, the fluff on my fucking face. Where is it? Oh, no, there's something still there. Is that it? Oh my God, sorry. You know, like when you get like a hair stuck in your eye or something and it is the most satisfying thing when you get it out. That's what that was. It's cause my freaking brushes are like covered in cat hair. Anyway, this blush from Refai in the shade Rose. I love it. You might not be able to see because this lighting isn't the best. But it's my like baby pink blush of dreams. And then sometimes I like to go back in with my bronzer brush and just make sure I'm not lost out on any bronzer right let me just set my face in place and do my brows like i need this to be like locked in not sure if that's my best brow work but we move anyways we're on the home stretch people and in good time <laughs> time for bronzer honestly if you guys don't have the bronze book yet what are you doing because it's literally all i use as you saw eyes face eyeliner and also guys, I have to say my skin is looking, it's looking the fuck good, I'll tell you that. Darting, ginger biscuit all round, smaller brush, caramel cup as the contour. Stick it down my nose a little bit. You guys know the drill. Also this hotel is so cute like i want to make sure i've got time for pickies <laughs> now it's time for a bit of the shimmery bronze what shade is this gold deposit i like to mix gold deposit with global glow because i feel like gold deposit on its own is a little bit too too so mixing these together is my absolute fave and i kind of like mix it in and I kind of end on global glow. It's just my fucking favorite step. And it has transported me to make a note. And that's exactly what I wanted. Right, blush. I got a new blush. I got the Dior blush. So I'm actually gonna take this on like this brush from Nude Cosmetics, which is just so good. And I'm mainly gonna focus this like here. And this brush just like melts into your cheek, like the apple. And it's so pretty, especially with that Refi cream blush as like the base. And then I'm gonna take this um, Ariel Morphe brush and that pretty little thing blusher. It's a little bit paler, but that blue, beautiful blue tone pink. Tiniest, like, 
just like right on the apple. I don't know if that's like showing up in person, but it looks fucking stunning. And this brush is the softest thing. It's like fairies, like kissing my cheeks. Oh, it's fucking stunning, babe. And the best highlighter of them all to tie that all together is a Fenty Beauty. What a brat. I was going through my collection the other day. I think I mentioned in a video before this that I had a bit of a clear out and found this and was like, I forgot about this. Why is this not like in front of me all of the time? Like, I want baby blue, no, baby pink, baby blue tone, baby pink. Got there. Hot, like, I want to sparkle in that color. Fucking stunning, mate. Like, you just know in pictures that is gonna fucking pop. Sorry, I'm swearing. That's when you know we've had a bit too much. No, we haven't. I'm actually fine. I'm fine. Just taking my broken NARS orgasm eyeshadow. This is just like a classic champagne gold highlighter down the bridge of my nose i feel like i might need to take some eyeshadow underneath my eye I think that's what the eyes needed. I'm just gonna go in my little inner corner color again, just to make sure. And I'm actually not really feeling anything in the waterline. I think let's keep it light and bright. The dress is white, so let's just keep it looking cute, right? Let's go in with the magic ingredient, the wishery. Honestly, drown me in that and let's let that dry and then let's do the lip. I'm tempted to like not do my lip yet because I'm still like slurping away. Maybe this will be my final glass. We did half a mini bottle, okay guys? Nothing crazy. Let's just have my sip, but that spray's really done something to me. It always does. Anyway, for the lips, I feel like I'm actually, I normally only use this for my Cupid's bow and like underneath, but I think I might fully line my lips. It's Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown. And this is gonna be very much trust the process. Feather that like in. Okay darker lip liner for me but then we're going very pale the made by mitchell soft silk liquid lipstick but only the tiniest bit in the middle and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna leave it there no we're gonna pat it out diffuse it into the sensor the warmth of your fingers all right, love, makes that super easy like this. And then we're going in with my fave lip peptide road ribbon. I managed to get the jelly bean one, guys, and I ordered two in case I lose one. <gasps> Hallelujah. And now I'm going with this. And it just, this is how I like my nude lips to look. Stunning, you guys. It's absolutely stunning. Right, I think that. So sorry, that's so disgusting and rude. So nasty and so rude. Anyway, the makeup is done. My hair was already curled, by the way. Just need to decide 
if I'm doing it up, doing it down, but I can't wait to show you the dress. It's very cute. It's from Club L. They very kindly gifted it to me. And it's just so flattering. And it's giving, like, yes, it's winter, but we're in Mykonos. So let's see. I need to, like, wash my hands and make sure I don't ruin it because it's white. Just on my lip, but I'm going to have a drink. <sighs> Cheers. Anyway, let's get this look wrapped up. Oh, my God. We are, like, balancing by... A thread how cute is this dress it's not oh my lights not even facing me it's not super dressy it's cocktail okay I think this is the vibe cocktail attire to a new Mykonos themed restaurant also this bag I think I got it from um, a vintage shop called nitrile nitrile it's the best thing ever because it's got silver and gold on it so when I like don't really want to like commit to a color because these silver heels from PLT are my absolute faves to wear to events. They're so comfortable. But then I did gold sparkly makeup. So I was like, oops, I've committed to like the warm gold sparkly tones, but my shoes are silver. So I throw that bag into the mix. I'm just trying to get my shoe on. Let's make sure we're all good. Didn't just get oil on myself, did I? Nope, I've got the right pants on. Guys, this is the vibes. I'm obsessed. I feel like I'm giving kind of like Greek, Greek goddess. But yeah, the dress is from Club L. Guys, <laughs> never have I ever bought something in a size 10 recently. This is a size 10. And it fits perfectly. Club L, their fabric is so like, I'm obsessed. It's so flattering and it fits. What are we thinking? Just, I've literally like got silver and gold jewelry on to tie it all together. I'm obsessed anyway. I'll let you know um, how the restaurant is and the vibe. I really hope you enjoyed this get ready with me and love the vibes. I feel like this is kind of a Christmas party vibe as well. They did this dress in black. I feel like they definitely did it in other colours as well. They normally do with their stuff. But anyway, cheers loves. Time to go downstairs, get some pickies and enjoy the night. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.